Good afternoon and welcome to Monsters Inc. Scare Island for the PS2. So basically I'm kind of done with modern gaming right now, I'm not really enjoying any new releases, so I've made the decision to go back all the way to the PS2 grassroots of my, my gaming life I suppose we could call it. And I feel like this game is going to be a, a great place to start, it's one that I was too young to really understand when I played it to begin with, but Despite this being like a, a Pixar movie adaptation of a game and, you know, game adaptations of movies never really seem to do that well, this is surprisingly fun. So let's start a new game. Wow, those graphics. If we get through this, you and I could be the best screen producing team Monstropolis has ever seen. I can't believe we were handpicked by Waternoose himself to train at the Monsters Incorporated private Yep, that's facility. definitely Sully's voice actor. I'm too nervous. And you building up the situation like this is not helping. Relax, Mikey. Rem Mike sounds more like Joey Wheeler than Mike, doesn't he? Please, don't remind me. Yeah, okay. But I don't want to deal with another mess like that. It took him a whole semester to rebuild the dorm. Didn't I say not to remind me? Okay. You're right. It's no big deal. It's only one of the most respected companies in all of Monstropolis. No problem. It's not like we're on the verge of a screen shortage or anything. We'll be fine. All right, there we go. Well, I don't remember seeing. Sounds like Mike needs to go to the bathroom. Confusing, but come on! Oh boy, what am I gonna tell my mother? She'll be absolutely devastated! Oh, here we go. Sullivan, James P. And Mike Wazowski. You too have been enlisted in this training course because of your potential to become a top scare producing team. While you are here, the two of you will work together to complete a total of 15 trials. That's right, 15 trials. If you can complete them all... Okay, 15 trials? You will earn yourself a spot on the scare floor. Okay? Good. Please proceed through the elevator directly behind the help desk. Any questions, come see me. Alright, so that leads up to uh, the training area, like the the tutorial, I suppose we could call it. Who are we going to play as, Mike or Sully? I think we're going to play as Sully. Surely, right? Hey, hey, I'm the monster! That you are, Sully. So yeah, the, uh, the slug monster you see on the front there, you're going to be hearing a lot of her voice in the tutorial, so I think I'm going to skip through the majority of this and I'll just kind of explain the mechanics as we go. And this is why. They've actually copied the, the voice of the, the slug monster from the movie very well, but we don't want to spend 20 minutes listening to this tell me basic controls, so I'll see you after the tutorial. Alright, you know what, I think I can use this part of the tutorial to explain these mechanics a bit. So... Obviously we've got like basic platforming stuff like double jumping, we've got like attacks and things to attack enemies which are toys in this game, like toy trains and stuff that drive into you. Uh, that bar on the left there fills up with this ooze stuff I can collect, so you see I can pick this up here and it's just lit that other side up. These things here are called nerves and they're basically just like wind up kids that you need to scare. So to scare each of the different shirt colours you need to collect ooze until your bar on the left there fills up enough so that your coloured bar matches the shirt colour. So if I tried to scare this and I didn't have that orange bar filled, it wouldn't let me do it. So then it's just like a, a button mashing, like quick time event, where you just have to scare these these wind up kids in order to uh, complete the level. So there's like a number of them throughout the level you need to find. And then like each individual area has a unique mechanic that you unlock after completing like certain objectives in that area. So like, for example, the first level we'll go to will be the park. And it's got like trampolines there you can't use until you unlock them. Which means that you need to like go to and from different levels throughout the environment to unlock these mechanics to like max out each, um, each level. So we'll just finish off this nerve here. With a paper bag on our head. Alright. All right. Yeah. And then we get a medal for scaring five. I think there's a, a I think there's ten per level. 
And then there's these Monsters Inc. tokens here as well that you can pick up. So there's 10 of these in the level. You've got to collect 10 of these to get the silver medal. And then I think you just scare the rest of the nerves that you didn't get in order to get the gold medal. But you've got to get like all of these objectives to get those medals. You can't just like only do the nerves and get gold. You need to still get the silver. Hey, hey, I'm the monster. So yeah, there's our silver medal. Oh, correction there. There's actually only eight per level. So there's three more in here that we need to find. But obviously I just need to collect this ooze up until I filled that red bar. And then we can scare the remaining nerves here. So yeah, look, I don't have red, so if I try and scare this one, it just laughs at you. You need to pick up more of this ooze. But there we go, now I have red, so I should now be able to interact with it. So yeah, that's the basic premise of the game. So I'll just run and finish off this tutorial section, and then we can actually play the real game. And there we go, that's our training complete. In order to hone your skills so that you can become top scare producers, we're going to make things a bit more challenging. How all right, so now we get to find out about all the different levels. Hey! Your first destination is Urban Field. Not to worry now, just follow that path there, and you'll be fine. Remember... Look at that Microsoft clip art on the front of the signs. Recognize that our strongest asset. They definitely asked Clippy to help them find assets for this game, didn't they? Man, they need to bring that little pip clip fella back, don't they? Well, I've already found my first glitch. I just talked to this woman to save, and I got stuck in her desk. I don't think you're supposed to actually be able to get behind here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Slight issue. Okay, fixed. Alright, good. Okay, we can go through here and we can watch, um, movie viewer stuff. There are actually, like, clips from the real movie from the original Monsters, Inc. movie that appear throughout this game. Obvious reasons for me to need to skip them, but you can watch them in there. So we've got Randall up here. We can do um, shoot racing against him, which is quite fun. Now this corner over here, I always used to think there was a way that I could get over there. Like, I was so young that I thought, you know what, if I just jump at the right time, I can make that. I can double jump there. Uh, you can't, by the way. There is no way to get over there unless you, like, glitch jump. But yeah, there's the open field here, which is a really bizarre name for a, a level. There's a snowy area over here. And then there's a desert area over here. Yeah, and there's, um... I think there's four levels per gate. Which means there are 12 standard levels. And I think there's three races with Randall for the 15 levels. So we've got City Center, the Docks, the park and the market. So we're going to start with the park. All right, here we go. So, main objective when you get into the game is always going to be to collect as much of this ooze as you can. Now, you can't attack that train from the top because of the steam, but we can hit it and knock it over, destroy it. These bins do have ooze in them. They also have health packs. So when you hit them and a health pack comes out, there you go. Just that like little bag of ramen, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing else that comes out of them. Um, but interestingly enough, they did manage to figure out LOD this early on into gaming. So if I turn around and look back at where that health pack is, you see it stopped moving? And then I get closer to it, and then the texture changes and it moves again. You don't need to worry about these things despawning, you can just leave them there, it's great. Now, this is locked until we complete some more objectives. Like, there are actually dynamic map elements in, uh, in this game. You like parts of the map you can't unlock until you do certain uh, objectives. So we've got enough ooze to be able to scare this nerve here, so we'll get this one out of the way. It's one of the easy ones, it just takes one set of button mashing to get to the uh, the final scare. There we go, that's the sandcastle destroyed. There we go, we've got our green bar filled up, so now we can go after this one up here. Or we can fall off. Alright, that works. Oh, it saved my progress from before. Okay. Hey, there are things this game's doing that modern games can't do. This is fantastic. Alright, onwards. Get the rest of the Sues. Now, I'm pretty sure around here, if I remember right... Now, this is going on like a memory from back when I was like five years old, but there's... Yeah, here we go. 
These trampolines here we can't use just yet, so we need to unlock those first. And when I say memories from being five years old, this is how a lot of the games that I play from like PS2 era are gonna turn out, because that's literally how old I was when I was playing on my PS2 for the first time. Alright, there's another toy down- oh, we're taking some damage. Can I knock this thing over, please? Yeah, I always remember the combat as being kind of challenging as well. Especially in the desert. I don't know why. It might have just been because I was a kid, but... There's plenty of health around for us to pick up, at least. Alright, let's head up this way. We can do, like, a, a ground pound attack as well. So let's see if that's any more effective against this thing. Not really. I mean... It seems like it's safer just to avoid this thing. Like, all the risk is coming from me <laughs> chasing it down. There's an orange nerve inside this bin. We can't interact with it yet, though, so we'll just let it roam around. Okay, so we're looping back to where we started, so we need to go back up this way. And there was a turn we hadn't taken yet, so down here near where the, uh, the trampoline was. Alright, plenty of ooze here. There's also a yellow nerve. So let's deal with this one. And then the ooze around this tree should give me the orange section of my bar. So that I can go chase that other nerve down. Alright, and that's opened the map for me. Uh, opened the door in the corner of the map. So, we can chase this other nerve down now. There they are. Is that health up there? Oh yeah, I managed to somehow get health stuck all the way up there. Oh well, we've cornered this guy now. He can't get away from me and my button mashing. I don't know why, but that skybox is like reminding me of old SimCity, like SimCity 1. Okay, well that's that nerve dealt with, and now we can fit through here. Which is an entirely different map section. Right, that's a spinning top dealt with. These bins are great. You can just keep punching them and keep knocking paper out of them, it's fantastic. Alright, so that's a green nerve there. So interestingly enough, you had to beat a yellow nerve to get in here to beat a green nerve, even though, like, collecting the ooze goes in the opposite direction for us to, like, whether you can interact with those nerves or not. You know, you, you get the green bar full before you get the yellow bar. Well, that's that one dealt with, and that's my bronze medal. Alright, yeah. great. Alright, so it just gave me a, um, a movie cutscene there, and it's reloading the map, so I'm wondering if it's dumping me right back at the start again. If so, that'd be kind of annoying. And yes, it has. Okay, do I keep all my ooze and stuff? I do. And all of it respawns. Alright, well that makes farming it quite easy. But we need to be back through here, don't we? Because this is the area we haven't finished yet. Wow. We're taking damage taking those things out. They are really dangerous, those spitting tops. Just like the enemies in this game in general are difficult to fight. Because they're hard to hit, and they almost always manage to deal damage to you. Alright, well this bin should give me enough ooze to fill the, um, the red bar. No, we're one off. Like, one little canister off. What's this? Switches can open doors, trigger events, and deactivate enemies. Jump on the switch. Ah, it's open to shoot up there, but we do need the trampoline to get up to it. Right. So, annoyingly enough, we're gonna have to leave this little area, pick up one canister of ooze, and then come back to get this nerve. Alright, it actually turned out that it was two canisters of ooze I needed. Fair enough, but we can go back in here, and track down this red nerve. There we go. There he is, jumping back up here. Trying to get away from me. And I've fallen off. <laughs> that's twice that's happened now. Oh well, we've got them. The red ones do take a lot of button mashing to fill their bars up. But... At the end of the day, there aren't too many red ones per level, I don't think. And... Done. Brilliant. Okay, so there's nothing else I can actually do in this level until we get those trampolines unlocked now. So let's head back out here. 
Let's go hit the um, the post box next to. Okay, let's deal with the sandcastle first. There we go. We'll go hit the post box next to the trampoline and see if that tells us where we get them from. Use the trampoline to jump higher, reach places you couldn't before. Win four bronze medals to access the trampolines. Okay, so we need to get a bronze medal in every single level in this sort of sub area before we can actually access the uh, trampoline. So I reckon it's probably time for us to leave this level and go access another one then, right? Let's uh, go through here. All right, so now we can pop back through and you see we've got a bronze medal there. Let's do the city center next. All right, that thing behind me is a, a life token. Hold up. Let me get behind here. Can I push this box? That might be a door, that almost looks destructible. What's in this letterbox? Visit the sewers, open up the toy store gate, and get to the rooftops for more action. Alright, so there's plenty to do around here, I guess. Now, I don't think you can actually destroy the car. The car will just chase you. I think you need to destroy its controller. There we go. And then you can destroy the car. But that took so much health off of me. Defeat the remote control car, jump on top of the control box with a body slam or bounce. So, yeah, that's how you deal with that. Alright, we've got a nerve here that we can take out. This is one of the uh, blue shirt ones, so that's nice and easy for us to find. We do, however, we need to find some more health, and quite urgently. Okay, so we can get into the sewers from down here. Hmm. That's one of those Monsters Inc. tokens there. Oh, there's some here too. Okay. Maybe we can get the silver in this level without having to uh, backtrack to other ones. Alright, we've gotten a fair bit of health back. And there's the toy shop behind us. Alright, that's that nerve dealt with. Okay, so what does this post box say about opening up the toy shop gate? Eliminate any nearby enemies before initiating scare tactics on a nerve. Right, okay, I guess we can just be hit out of our scare then, by the sounds of it. I guess we have to go into the sewers then. There's nothing else I can do around here until I open up that toy shop. So, down we go. Alright, we have a lot of ooze here. There's also a blue nerve. So that's nice and easy to take out. Just one lot of button mashing. And that opens the toy shop gate. Let's just make sure I get the rest of the ooze from down here. I thought the sewers would be uh, a bit wider, to be honest. But we're out here. Thankfully, it didn't respawn the enemies. But now we can go into the toy shop. Do we have anything in the register? Apparently not. That's a shame. Can I get on top of the shelves? I can. And there's a nerve up here as well by the sounds of it. Yeah, there's an orange one there. And there's this yellow one here we could deal with. So the two in here should give me the bronze medal then. And I'm wondering if we go out like the back door of the toy shop and then need to use a trampoline to get on the roof. All right, well that's opened the back door for me. Ouch. Okay, well... Something's not right. Apparently something's not right. That took a life away from me. He's gonna get put back together again, isn't he? I knew it. It's like a dry bones, that thing. So we can't actually kill those. There's a bit of health there. And thankfully this thing jumped straight into me just in time. Alright, that is the orange nerve dealt with, then we can get out of the back of this toy shop. And we got our bronze medal. Alright, well I got another story cutscene, which meant I got thrown back to the start of the level again. All the enemies are back. Ah, oh, but the life isn't there. I was kind of hoping that the, um, the life would have respawned, but it didn't, so let's get back in this toy shop. We'll gather up this ooze in here again, because that'll get us to our... There we go. Our red bar full. We'll dodge the Lego Woodman here. 
And now we're at the back of the toy shop. So it's like a little factory area, by the looks of it. Uh, I don't think we want to go down there, somehow. Ah, I need to use the boxes to climb up top. I was hoping I'd be able to just, like, grab onto the top of the conveyor since it's kind of low down, but... It's not gonna happen. Oh god. <laughs> Didn't quite make that jump there. And we're up. Oh, so we're out on the rooftops now. Awesome. So if I fall down here... Alright, that just looks like death. Yeah, look at that. There's a token here. That's gonna be a pain to jump into without falling off. There we go. So how do I see how many of these I have? If I pause, it doesn't tell me. Ah, right, but I can press the back button and I can see that I've gotten six nerves and zero coins on the city park. But in the city center, I've got five nerves and seven coins. All right then. So after this coin, it's just a couple more to find. Oh, there's a trampoline here. Okay, so we need to get some more bronze medals before we can use this. But yeah, I am going to hit the letterbox next to this um, platform before I step onto it, just in case it like falls down on me or something. Jump on the floating platforms. No, okay, so it doesn't say that it falls down, so I'm going to trust it. I've got this nerf here to scare. I think I'm going to get hit by the car. Yep. Alright, that's the remote down. The cars behind you always, like, make some kind of graphical issue, don't they? And it didn't save my progress on this one this time. Which is kind of annoying. I guess maybe because it started moving again, I didn't, like, get back to it in time. But there's a life on the, uh, the edge of the roof there behind me. Alright, that's another nerve out. Another life. So now we have moving platforms. Alright then. There's some classic platforming right here. Wait for the platform to move and then jump on it. And this looks like it's taking me right back to the start of the level. So I can only assume, until we get that trampoline unlocked, that there's nothing more we can do here. We have nine coins, and there's two nerves left. So let me see, if I get that trampoline, that'll let me up there. So yeah, it looks like there's a few more rooftops up there we'll be able to access, so I think we're done in this level now. Alright, and that's us back at Scare Island. So I think that's a decent start that we've made there today. We've gotten two bronze medals, and we're most of the way to two silver medals. We just need to get uh, two more bronze medals from the other areas in the city field here, and then we'll be able to start cleaning up some of the rest of the levels we've been in. And then once we've done that, we can start moving on to the other areas. So I think we'll probably go to the snowy area first, since it's closest to us, it's probably intended for us to go there next. But yeah, I, am, I actually had a lot of fun playing this. It was nice to play a game that's just good because it was made with a bit of care. Very refreshing. If you've got a, a local retro shop that sells old consoles and games, go check it out. Go get yourself a PS2 and a few games, honestly. Like, they're dead cheap these days, and it's so much fun. Like, honestly, so much fun. But yeah, that'll do it for me for today. So... Really appreciate you watching, thank you very much to the members and pledges you see on your screen here for supporting what I do, and next time we'll get some of those silvers, try and complete the bronzes, get those trampolines unlocked. So yeah, I'll catch you next time, bye bye.